Hello guys and welcome to a tutorial about creating uh, events and navigation in the Codename 1 GUI Builder. So we created a Hello World application following the wizard and here we have the theme, the state app of the application, the state machine, uh, classes and everything. So I can just double click the resource file which I did a moment ago and open it up. I can click the theme and see that this is just a plain Hello World application and I want to add an additional form to this application. So how do I do that? Let's start by just pressing the add new GUI element right here and give it a name like second form and uh, now I can give it a title. I can go here and select this and just give it a title like uh, second form so we'll know where we are and I'm going to uh, go back to the first form and create functionality to navigate to the second form, form. So the easiest thing is to just add a button right here and I just drag it into place. And I'll say, call it go to second form. Now the easiest way to do this is through a command. Now once we assign a command to a button, that's it. It's got the command. It won't handle other events. It won't do anything it will handle the command. So we can have lots of actions with a command like exit, execute, uh, which opens a URL in the browser, uh, go backwards, or just go to the second form. So we do that, and this is the easiest and probably the best way to do that. Because now we can actually see the navigation happening right here. And notice you get the back command automatically, so this just works. Uh, so that's cool. That's the best way because you can actually see the navigation happening. So now we're on our second form and we say, okay, we want uh, a button here that will actually do something, like show a dialog or anything like that. So, okay, so let's select this button, which we have right here, and go to the events tab. Now here I can handle lots of events. And I'll just press the action event and go into NetBeans. NetBeans automatically opens up the state machine uh, class for me when my machine actually starts moving and goes to the right method to perform the action. Now you'll notice the override is giving me an error here. That's because I didn't save the resource. So now that I've saved the resource file, this is actually fixed. This is something very important that you need to keep track of because when you save the resource file, the state machine base is generated and as you can see this method is really defined in the state machine base you're just overriding it so that's a very important thing that you should notice when you're uh, building events so anyway this is my event uh, handling code and I just want to show a dialog uh, that just says uh, hi world and uh, something like this and I'm going to give it an OK to dismiss and nothing else. So that's basically it. Uh, if I run it in the simulator, then I'll actually see the functionality uh, completely. This feature, because it's in code, you can't preview in the designer. So how I can go to the second form, and the second form has a button that perform, opens a dialog, and I can go back. So that's really cool, and that handles the events. Now, the last portion, and maybe slightly harder to grasp, is how do I populate this? So, for instance, if I have a label right here, or any other component, and I want the string on this label to be something that comes out of code, well, let's call this label, we need to give it a name to reference it properly from code. So we can give it a name, uh, my code label. And my code label should now be edited from code. So how do I do that? Well, uh, we go to the before show uh, section. And this is specific to the form. It doesn't matter if you press it when this is selected or when this is selected. You just press it. And it opens uh, the event handling code for the before uh, uh, the second form class. So this method will get executed before this form is shown and gives you a pointer to the actual form. 
So now, all we need to do is open the right finder method. So let's find what's the name? Find my code label. Ah, I didn't save again. See, that's really important and that's a big stumbling block. Here we go. Find my code label. I can give it the form as an argument. And I can set the text of the label to set from code. Now, if I run this, then I'll see that the label was set from code. Now, why did we need to do that? Why couldn't I just do this manually? Well, the explanation is really simple. The second form only exists before you actually show it. And once we leave a form, we discard it. So when we went back from this form, so this is a new form. And this is, again, a new form. And when we go back, this is also a new form. Because we always create the forms on the fly to save memory. So we discard them immediately. That is why the only place where this label actually exists is right before you create it. That's the point where it starts living. And afterwards, it's instantly discarded. So that's why you need to initialize things at that particular point. So thanks a lot for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this video.